Hello everybody, it's Mallory from Total Noms. We are making a fabulous low carb side today. It is a dead ringer for mashed potatoes, but it's got none of the guilt. We are talking about cauliflower mash. It's so easy to prepare and has a great nutritional punch, tons of flavor. It does not sacrifice any of the texture or taste of regular mashed potatoes. It's super easy to whip up. It takes about 15 minutes from start to finish. Can't wait to show it to you guys. Let's get started. All right, so I've chopped up one head of cauliflower and I placed it in a steamer basket. And I've got about an inch of water boiling in my pot. And we're just going to allow the cauliflower to steam for about 10 minutes. Now before we let it go, just make sure to season pretty liberally, liberally with salt, kosher salt, um, to give the cauliflower some flavor here. While we're waiting for our cauliflower to steam, I figured I'd give you guys some fun cauliflower facts. Cauliflower is high in fiber, vitamin C, and vitamin K. It also has anti-inflammatory benefits. One of the most interesting things about cauliflower to me is that it actually contains pectin, uh, which is what makes it so creamy when we puree it. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes, and you want your cauliflower to be about fork tender. So once it's done, just drain it in a colander and we'll be ready to puree. All right, so we've got our cauliflower, and all we're going to do is put the cauliflower into the bowl of a food processor. We're going to add two tablespoons of unsalted butter, about a quarter cup, maybe a little more, of uh, cheese. I've got Asiago and Parmesan here, a teaspoon of fresh thyme, and a whole head of roasted garlic, which I roasted for about an hour at 375 with a little bit of olive oil and salt. All right, and now all we're gonna do is just put the lid on and let it puree. So just transfer your puree to a bowl and you're ready to go. And that's that. We have a low carb side that only took us 15 minutes to prepare. You can get this full recipe in addition to all of my recipes at my blog, totalnoms.com. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks so much for watching and see you next time.